Hi, here's a very quick and simple way to add children to uh, a group. So um, maybe a new nursery group or reception group at the start of the school year. So we know that lots of schools add in the bulk of their data, but need to add in nursery or children slightly later when they get the UPN. So here's a much easier way of doing it versus using the bulk data upload. So in your admin portal, go to group management and then you'll see all the classes and groups set up in your school. And you might already have a reception group with either some or no children, or you might need to add, say, a nursery or reception group to start with. Um, and then next to that group where you want to add the children, tap action and then tap edit, and then tap add pupils and add pupils by pasting a CSV list. And then you need to run a report in your MIS that outputs the names of the children and their UPN for the class or the group that you want to add. So what Marvelous Me needs is the first and last name of each child in that group in the same cell. So they're not separate columns, it's not separated by a comma, it's the first and last name together and their UPN. And then you select the children who you want to add to Marvelous Me. So I'm just selecting their names and their UPN, so no column headers and I then copy that data back into Marvelous Me and then I want to paste it in that box and then I tap Next and Create and Add Pupils and that adds the children to my class and I've now got my reception class with all its children and doing that also adds the children to your setup for the first time so you'll then have all the parent join code letters for that new class and those new children to hand out to the teacher or to give directly for the parents. So it's really very simple and much quicker than doing a whole school data upload. And if you already have some children, say in that class, and you're just adding a few more, then again, you can copy and paste all the children in that class and Marvelous Me will strip out any uh, duplications. Now, one of the challenges is that some MISs don't output the children's names in that correct format. So if you tap help and resources, that takes you to our school bag where you've got lots of guides and helpful tools. And halfway down the admin section is a name configurator. So if you tap on that, that will give you your Excel file. And the instructions at the start will tell you exactly what you can do. But this is a very handy way of converting the different formats that certain MISs give of the children's names into the format we need. So for instance, if you've got the forename and surname together, but separated by a comma, you can copy those names into the relevant section of Marvelous Me and paste them. And our formula will put them into the correct format. So you can then copy those names as values into your relevant sheet to then copy with their UPNs to Marvelous Me. So hopefully that makes some sense. Um, as I said, our instructions cover every possibility. So whether your MIS puts the first name and surname in two columns, or whether it puts the um, surname and then forename in two columns, or the names separated by a comma, um, then our uh, configuration tool will help get that information into the right format so you can then copy it with the UPNs into your group management section. So it's very simple. If you've got any problems, please let us know. By far the, the trickiest bit, if you haven't got the names in the right format, is just using our configuration tool. But again, we've tried to make that really simple and it is far quicker and easier uh, than doing the bulk data uploads. And as always, if you get stuck, please contact us uh, by email or phone and we can help you or even do it for you. Thanks very much.